So one of the things that you'll see very specifically with aging is a loss of physical function, and that's more geared for power. In fact, the rate of, you've probably covered this before, uh, rate of loss of muscle mass as you age is something like a half to 1% per year. Loss of muscle strength is double to triple that. Loss of muscle power is triple that. And so what are you seeing? You see a very precipitous drop in muscle power. And why is that happening? Speed. A little bit of loss of speed, aha. So preserving, in fact, you, you can do this. You can go look at the world records of all sports across age groups. So if you look at like track and field, what's the world record in the 100 meter dash? And what's the world record for the 30 to this? What's the world record for the 40 to 50 year old range, 50 to 60? And what you'll see is strength sports like powerlifting, the world record through age doesn't go down that much. The world record in speed and jumping sports just falls off a cliff. Yep. So it's preserving speed. In addition, uh, my friend Greg Grasicki just published a paper this week in uh, Journal of Physiology, a, a, a blue ribbon journal in our field, right? It's the high as you get. And this was actually looking specifically at single fiber contractile function changes with aging. And the data here are extraordinarily clear, have been a long run. You see very little loss of function in slow twitch fibers through aging, regardless of exercise or not. I sort of mentioned this earlier, but you see a dramatic reduction in fast twitch fibers. And you actually don't see um, a drop of power. And so there's nothing internal to the muscle fiber that's going down. So another way to say this is if it's you take fiber an individual loss, muscle fiber, that's the problem. it's the fiber size. The atrophy of fast twitch fibers is the almost exclusively the problem with aging and muscle. Mm. You have got to maintain fast twitch fiber size. Now there are some loss of total fibers, but that is actually very difficult to find scientifically. Counting total amount of fiber fibers in a live human muscle is extraordinarily difficult. So what really what we're after here is anytime I'm thinking longevity, I'm thinking primarily absolute force and power um, has to be preserved. And it's, this is a faster fiber atrophy issue. Um, th this is a target. So these are the things spinning in my head. So how is this three day a week combination going to look? Okay. And sorry, just, to make, just to make sure we translate that, Andy, because I think that was so uh, important what you just said. You're basically looking I'm 50 and you're looking down the barrel of my life saying you want to live another 40 years and you want to be functioning. The most important thing I can do for you in the gym is not focus on the things that you're going to get for free. It's focus on the things that are declining so rapidly. And, and I will, as a corollary to that, get a bunch of that other stuff for free, but I have to focus on the atrophy of your fast twitch muscle fibers because it's already happening and we need to stave that off and we need to put in the gym systems to support the reversal of that process. Because if I just ignore that, you know, I might as well be that highly exercised twin guy who's, you know, doing all his cardio, but at the end of the day, he can't jump off the curb. He can't, you know, he's going to be this, the hyper cardio athlete who's still a decrepit person in the last decade of their life. To make it even better or worse, those fibers require specific types of training. Unless you specifically do that, you just don't have any chance of those tissues. The other tissues aren't as uh, like hypertrophy. Hypertrophy is pretty nonspecific in terms of your training application. But if you want to make sure that you're targeting fast twitch fibers, like this, this requires very specific protocols or, or like you have no chance. Fast twitch, slow twitch fibers are going to get activated with any activity of daily living. They're going to get activated with any amount of physical strain, whether you're doing intervals, zone two, zone six, that doesn't matter, right? Zone 28, pick whatever you want. Slow twitch are good. It's the fast twitch fibers that require intention. And that's why I, yeah. I make such a big deal of it because you can't accidentally get those. That's right. It's sort of like what we say in fighting is like, you can sometimes accidentally knock somebody out. There are fluke punches. There are no accidental submissions. You know, like there's no fluke arm bars. Mm -hmm. like, like you have to know what you're doing there or not. Yep. So 
coming back to our, our avatar. By the way, I love that line because I often say that to especially my female patients who are completely untrained, borderlining on cachectic, um, afraid of lifting weights. You know, they just want to do yoga all day. And when I say, look, we have a problem here. You're osteopenic um, yep. and you're so weak. I am worried for your life. And they say, I, I just don't want to lift weights because I just don't want to get too big. And it's like, I have good news for you. The myth, <laughs> the myth of accidental muscle has been fully debunked. <laughs> fully. <laughs> Me yeah, and every yeah. other guy out there can tell you we're waiting for it to happen. It hasn't happened. The, the odds that you're going to wake up and think, God damn it, I'm too muscular. It, it's just, it just won't happen.